she is with Kyle. Idaho Cowgirl come to Wyoming. Uh, you saw two arena records here between the qualifier and this round here. What, uh, what were you thinking riding into this arena knowing you had to be the fastest ever to have a chance at this? I knew if my horse would keep her ears pinned, I needed to keep mine pinned, so I just gave it a go. It worked out great, and I'm super excited. Not what I expected, but I'll take it. Talk about your horse, because I know that's such a big piece of the puzzle. You, you went to the Wrangler National Finals, but it's been 14 years. Talk about the new partnership that you have. Well, I train horses, so I spend a lot of time doing that in fraternities and stuff. And um, I don't know how to say this, but the horse that won it here last year, I trained for my very good friends, um, Jeff and Andrea Busby. For me to do this the following year on another horse I train is, I'm just speechless. I, so proud. Well, the horse is a, a big part of that story. The jockey, you're not just up there along for the ride. We've had some weather here in Cheyenne this week that has uh, contributed to the ground conditions, uh, but it was, the track has seemed to improve and gotten a little faster as the week went on, hadn't it? Absolutely. I've seen them come in here and work on this ground and get it better, and it just got continued to get better. And my hat's off to the grounds people, the committee that did that for us, and hopefully they'll continue to do it next year. <laughs> Well, congratulations. This has got to feel great. You got some family that made it over for the trip? Yes, absolutely. My husband, he's my biggest supporter, and he drives me all over. He drove me here, too. Well, he might be driving you straight to Las Vegas this fall if you continue the winning streak that you're on. Congratulations, Sue Smith, our champion. Stay right there on the arrowhead. Let's bring you a buckle. How about